Throughout almost the entire Pilates world, the received wisdom is that cueing the use of transversus abdominis, pelvic floor and multifidus is integral to teaching Pilates well. This approach is also advocated by a large number of physiotherapists and other allied health professionals. Sadly, it doesn't work. The notion of cueing the deep core muscles or pelvic floor, transversus and lumbar multifidus did not originate from Joseph Pilates or any of his disciples. This approach began in the physiotherapy world, growing out of some groundbreaking research in the very late 1990s by Hodges, Richardson and Hydes at the University of Queensland. These researchers found that when raising the arm from a seated position, healthy subjects activated their lumbar multifidus before recruiting the deltoid muscle in the shoulder. Whereas in people with low back pain, lumbar multifidus activation was delayed. Subsequent research in the very early 2000s found similar alterations in timing with other deep muscles of the trunk, e.g. transversus abdominis. From this grew what is referred to as the core stability or motor control approach to rehabilitation of low back pain, that is, retraining early activation of the deep trunk muscles prior to the initiation of movement. For some reason, the notion of pre-activation of deep trunk muscles has proved to be an incredibly sticky meme, spreading through the Pilates and physiotherapy worlds in the early 2000s, and these days it is almost universally accepted. Sadly, as it turns out, later research showed a much less convincing effect of core stabilisation exercises for low back pain. Some studies replicated the early findings of delayed onset of transversus abdominis and multifidus, whereas many other studies have found either no alteration in the timing of these trunk muscles or earlier activation in people with low back pain. Several studies have also demonstrated increased activity of transversus abdominis and lumbar multifidus in people with low back pain compared to healthy people. In the scientific literature, a systematic review or meta-analysis is considered to be the gold standard of research quality. These are studies that synthesize the results of all available prior research in a field and analyze trends in the data, giving a clear indication of the general trends in the research. Since 2006, there have been seven systematic reviews of the research on core stabilization exercise for low back pain. One of these meta-analyses conducted in 2013 did find a beneficial effect of motor control exercises on both pain and disability for low back patients. However, they found that they were unable to say whether the effect of motor control exercise was due to the isolated activation of local muscles or due to subsequent stages of the intervention which involved loaded postures engaging all trunk muscles. Six other systematic reviews, including the most recent one in 2014 by Smith and colleagues, have found no measurable benefit of core stabilization exercises compared to either physiotherapy treatment or any other form of exercise. The results of the most recent meta-analysis by Smith suggests that core stability exercises for low back pain offer very minimal benefit in the short and medium term when compared with other forms of exercise, and that there was no significant benefit in the long term for pain or disability when compared with any other form of exercise. The authors concluded that, quote, stabilization exercise improves low back pain symptoms, but no better than any other form of active exercise in the long term. The large number and high methodological quality of the available studies included in this analysis at long-term follow-up strengthen these findings. We cannot recommend stabilization exercises for low back pain in preference to other forms of general exercise, and further research is unlikely to considerably alter this conclusion. And for researchers who are notoriously equivocal in their statements, that's about as emphatic a conclusion as you're ever likely to read. So in summary, core stability training was never part of Joseph's grand vision for the universe. 
It's a notion that came out of physiotherapy research in Queensland, Australia in the late 1990s. Despite showing early promise, since 2006, the approach of core stabilisation exercises to address low back pain has been progressively, and now conclusively, invalidated.